Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Hope you're having a great morning. I'm just gonna get started with my skincare routine. I saw a comment asking me about ferritin and hair loss. Like, what does low ferritin have to do with hair loss? Ferritin is a storage form of iron, and it's a lab test to kind of get a snapshot of how your iron levels are doing, so to speak. Low iron levels are found in some types of non-scarring hair loss. Alopecia areata, which is an autoimmune hair loss, telogen effluvium, hair shedding, and uh, androgenetic alopecia, which is pattern hair loss. Washing machine is judging in the background. So we'll often check the ferritin as well as a complete blood count in uh, people who have hair loss, you know, when we're figuring out what's going on. The thing about ordering lab tests is you have to figure out what you're going to do with that information. So iron deficiency is the most common nutrient deficiency worldwide. So if somebody is found to have low iron and they also have hair loss, does it necessarily mean that the two go together? Uh, not always. So what ends up happening is, well, you got to figure out why they have low iron first and foremost. Uh, in pre-menopausal women, the most common reason for low iron is menstrual losses, having a period once a month. You lose a lot of blood, bye-bye iron. Um, or in that group also the other reason is inadequate intake just coming on in this morning with a few pumps of the healthy renew face serum for men and postmenopausal women and then certain other at-risk groups people with background you know underlying medical conditions you have to really think outside of that box uh, as to other things now postmenopausal women and men you really start thinking are they bleeding somewhere and losing iron that way and you really worry, you know, in older adults in particular, but anybody really, about losing blood from the gastrointestinal tract. Um, so, you know, do you need a colonoscopy? And you also have to ask yourself, you know, are they anemic? Because this is a situation where, where you often run into this situation where you've got somebody who has a non-scarring hair loss. You check the lab, their iron, their ferritin's low, but they don't have anemia. They don't have other symptoms of iron deficiency. So then the next course usually is to encourage them to increase intake of foods rich in iron because you can get iron from your diet provided the patient doesn't have any underlying malabsorption problems. So you'd be like, well, you know, what's your diet like? You know, and encourage people to eat more iron rich foods and if necessary, iron supplementation. But that's a tricky situation too. You know, you got to be careful there. Iron supplements are not easy to take. They lead to constipation. Um, you know, they're not pleasant. So after you know you tell the patient hey you gotta work on your iron a little bit let's give this give them some work then you're you know you have to check the labs again and make sure that they corrected it if they corrected it by eating food great wonderful nobody's going to overdose on iron from food if they corrected it from supplements well then you know you kind of need to back down on that because in the absence of ongoing loss of iron once you correct the iron deficiency and the person has normal iron well, taking in iron supplementation unnecessarily can lead to iron overload, which I have a video on the skin signs of that. You turn bronze, you get diabetes because you get iron clogging up your pancreas. Sunscreen, I'm going to come on in with today is the Invisible Daily Defense. And then you go through all that, and I got to tell you, a lot of times the hair loss doesn't budge. It, 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 you know, it's an important issue to go through addressing, right? But the hair is like still, you know, still a thing. So there's that. I'm telling you guys all this because on social media, I often see accounts of people who are either dealing with hair loss or, you know, sharing their journey, so to speak giving people tips, and they'll often be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to take prenatal vitamins. And they're not, you know, contemplating pregnancy or pregnant. I'm going to take prenatal vitamins or iron supplements. Prenatal vitamins have a lot of iron in them. I'm going to take prenatal vitamins because I heard they're high in iron and that's good for your hair. you got to be careful because you can get into iron overload doing that. Hair loss is a complicated issue. You know, it's, there are multiple types of hair loss and underlying causes. Definitely can't be simplified, but one thing's for sure, it's very distressing to go through. All right, coffee time. 
always with the runaway bean, especially if I'm sharing this with you guys, I always dump the beans out. Almost time for me to restock. This is the Four Sigmatic coffee. So good. <laughs> Keep those last few beans fresh. Why not? So I fired up pumpkin patch and it is not disappointing. It is definitely bewitched pumpkin spice. I don't know why I like saying pumpkin spice that way. Uh, it's really nice. It's pumpkin spice, but it's not like a super sweet scented pumpkin spice. It's more of like, I don't know, you get a little peppery kick in there. It's good, I really like it. And I just love the pretty label too. Well guys, it is later in the afternoon and I am all ready to head to the airport. I am going to, whoa, I just zoomed you guys in accidentally. A little slip of the hand there. I'm going to the airport. I'm headed to Los Angeles to attend a YouTube workshop. This is not a sponsored trip. I'm going of my own accord, but um, I'm pretty excited. The event is tomorrow, so I'm flying out tonight. I've just got this light pullover that is from Walmart with the pouch. This is great for like, you know, going through security when you need to like rummage around and everything. and. You have to stuff stuff in your pocket. You get what I'm saying? This is this is your ride ride along. This little camera bag I got from Target a couple of years ago. Finding finding seats for you guys is often a challenge because you know I have a hard time finding leather free bags, which this is. Let alone then I have to accommodate you guys and you know you all change shapes episodically, aka I get a new camera from time to time and then it's like Oh dear, <laughs> now I have to find a new bag and it can be challenging, but this one you guys ride comfortably in. So I've got that um, along with, you know, my luggage. Jeans are the Sophia jeans from Walmart. I've been loving these and I'm going to, I'm going to wear these the entire trip because I'm not, I'm not here. I'm not dressing like, you know, I'm just going to be comfortable and I have sneakers and I'm going to wear too. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Well, we made it to the airport just like that. It's a beautiful day and my flight is on time. It's a direct flight. All right, we've got to check out, of course, the latest installations here at the airport. Isn't this something to stare at? I like that. Lucas Johnson still life with Chambrucola. 2001 oil over acrylic. Here we have another one. Oops. Does I almost fall over my luggage? <laughs> um, Wisteria Apartment Complex. Beth Secker, Seeker, 2015. Graphite Pen. I was like reading what the media is. Graphite Pen and Gouache on paper. Sounds and very involved. Here we have Rise Up 2012 Acrylic on Panel by Esteban Delgado. I like these. Acrylic on board. Ooh, check this out. I'm about to look out there. Big sky, big sky. It helps to think we're sleeping underneath the same big sky. Look at the quilt. All right, and then what do we have over here? Ooh, I like this. I like the way the, I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera. There's like, the paper is like peeling, so it gives it dimension. Is prohibited by state and federal laws and regulations. Lance Lecher, Lecher, Airships 2014, collage and graphite on masonite. Ooh, this is nice. Michael B. Bizet, between you and me, managed to get a nice 
rendering there despite her being backlit. See it with a camera that would blow out. Oh, this is cool. Skyring the present in the shadow of a doubt. The beetle of Sulawesi. It's cool looking. It almost looks like some kind of elevator panel. Hobby Airport update. We're getting a The Spot Island Famous coming soon. Getting excited. Ah, uh, we're here in the Southern Living gift shop and they have lots of NASA collectibles. Including when I was a child, I remember this being all the rage that you could get astronaut ice cream sandwich and I just thought that was so cool that you could get that and I always wanted to try it but I never got to. Little rocket keychain. I still haven't been to NASA. That's something I need to do. Um, they have like a tour. It's supposed to be really good. The obligatory don't mess with Texas shirt. Uh, what kind of magazines do we have? Ooh, Time Magazine Barbie, The Power of the Doll. Selena. Check it out, you guys. They have a lending a little free library here in the terminal. Let's see what's inside. Hmm. Oh. This looks almost like a collectible. Doesn't that look old? It has that nice library smell. Writing notes with a personal touch. Oh, Knights and Rodanthe. That's a good one for entertainment purposes. I'm here at my gate getting ready to board in a few minutes and I wanted to show you guys remember when I bought this on Amazon a couple of years ago I still use it um, it's when I keep my laptop things my laptop's kind of big it doesn't fit like a lot of typical laptop sleeves so I keep it in here I also have like some tech, tech equipment but it has a lot of pouches this main pouch and my earphones, head, earphones, headphones. I'm gonna be editing a video on the pl plane. Um, and my iPad. Uh, but it's got a little strappy doodle back there. You can clamp it onto your, um, to your suitcase handle. Let's bring Kleenex with me. These are my eyeglasses here. This case I got in a FabFit phone box. I still use it. So yeah, I got some Ludens. You never know when you're gonna get a little tickle on the back of your throat. Or I like to suck on a lozenge sometimes on a flight if I feel like my ears are getting achy, pressury. Um, I also brought some a drink packet. So I can sprinkle that into my complimentary beverage, I guess. All right, getting ready to take off. To alcohol, the best thing about going to California is that the day is longer. You get like a longer day, so you get more stuff done.
Well, we made it to LA. I am in the shuttle and we're gonna head to the hotel. Well guys, I'm all checked in and we are chill chilling at the Holiday Inn. The hotel staff has been super nice and super friendly. Like when I called when I got here, they picked up and they were like really friendly and sent, they have a free shuttle to and from the airport. They sent the shuttle right away and told me exactly how to find it. They were really nice and then the, um, staff downstairs to check me in was like very nice um and yeah the room's super clean so just coming in we have a mirror as you guys see we have a little seating area couch ac unit little coffee table and television what do we have here some drawers then we have a little mini fridge Keurig, microwave, ice bucket, and sink, nice mirror. I have to say, I'm most excited about this because I always wish that hotels had liquid hand soap and they never do, but they have Dove hand wash and Dove body lotion. So that's good. Got a nice water closet here. I got this tub. It's pretty roomy. Got a Dove shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then the bed looks pretty comfortable. We've got a tel uh, telephone, alarm clock. I'll show you guys the view in the morning. AC unit, desk, another TV drawers and closet so not too bad so on the flight over here i got my signature southwest cocktail that i always get seltzer water with the true lime packet but this time the flight attendant took the liberty of putting the true lime packet directly in the water for me which i almost never do stuff like that right i mean it didn't bother me but it was kind of like i don't know i feel like that's against their protocol to do that but I guess not I don't know they always just give me the true lime packet separately and let me put it in I mean whatever but um all that to say I think it kind of chapped my lips a little bit because they're feeling dry yeah I'm like super thirsty <laughs> um I don't know why I've had plenty of water today but I guess just the flight and who knows but yeah I need to get settled and get myself something to drink <laughs> Well, hey guys, I just took a nice shower. I have you up on the ice bucket plus the tissue dispenser. And anyway, I brought with me the CeraVe uh, makeup remover balm. This is a pretty decent cleansing balm. It's not my absolute favorite, but it's pretty good. So I use that to remove the makeup water resistant sunscreen. And in the shower, I took it off with this little sample of the foaming or travel size of the foaming facial cleanser. My face is damp still from coming out of the shower. I'm just gonna come in. This is not a favorite. It's not bad. Uh, it's the CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing Gel. I brought it with me because I, you know, it's TSA friendly size and I reviewed this for you guys a while ago and I tried it for a while prior to that review and I really haven't touched it since. So I need to make my way through it. In my opinion, it's like a slightly lighter version of CeraVe PM. Like it's barely, like you can barely tell the difference actually. As a matter of fact, like um, Equate has a dupe of CeraVe PM. And between that, this and the actual CeraVe PM, I mean, we're like, we're like pulling hairs here to get, we're like splitting hairs is what I meant to say, to, to notice a difference. But man, you guys, I, I think, you know, I was just telling you all about how I think I got some of that True Lime powder on my lips and that it's causing my lips to be a little irritated, but I actually think it's this product. Now that I, you know, I was sent this in PR. Um, this is from the Inky List. It's their Tripeptide Plumping Lip Balm. I need to look at the ingredients in this. I've just been using it actually over the past week, um, trying it out. And I'm thinking it's this, it's gotta be this because I haven't used any other lip balm. This combined with that lime, I think is making my lips, like I feel like I've got a little stingy crack here in the corner. I think it's this. 
100% I think it's this because it's a new onset since I've started using it. It's got to be that. And it says plumping. I wonder if it has some, you know, a lot of plumping lip products have ingredients that are kind of irritating and they cause some little, a little bit of swelling and that's how they plump. I need to look at the ingredients on that and figure out what is going on. Um, shower was nice. Um, I'm going to get dressed. I'll check in with you in a moment. All right, I've got my green PJs. Coming in with, I have this little travel secret antiperspirant. Put your antiperspirant on at night um, before you go to bed. Don't put it on first thing in the morning because when you start moving around first thing in the morning or throughout your day, you're gonna generate some sweat that comes out of the pore or the, the eccrine sweat gland. It's gonna push this right out and it's just gonna go all over your clothes and it's not gonna work as well. If you put it on at night when you're relaxed um, and your body temperature goes down, it has a better chance of localizing in the sweat gland so that it'll reduce sweat output. Problem with antiperspirants as well as deodorants is majority of them have fragrance, which honestly, I, I like the way secret antiperspirants smell. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't like the scents and that in my mind, they're kind of basically a perfume but they put such a high concentration of the fragrance in there and the underarm area is a really sensitive area for the development of contact dermatitis, allergic and irritant, because you have skin on skin contact, sweat, you know, that, that creates a, an environment that's more, that enhances penetration of potential allergens. And, you know, fragrance is actually a common reason for irritation under the arms because it, in antiperspirants and deodorants, underarm products, they put it in there at a really high concentration relative to like maybe a scented face cream or something of that sort. Speaking of scented creams, the Dove body lotion that's here, kind of a, kind of a nostalgic scent. Some of the Dove, um, Dove scents, there's like a nostalgia to them. That's really soothing. Like speaking of antiperspirant, there's this Dove antiperspirant that has a pink, top it's a spray and it's got like a pearl on it that smells so good it's like a clean sophisticated not you know cheap smell at all i love the, the way that that smells but yeah definitely a problem for contact dermatitis um i brought my orbe uh nourishing hair oil this product is really good i only use it here and there because it's so expensive but um, I really like this. So I brought it with me because it's kind of hard to get hair conditioning, styling products, travel size friendly, you know. Well, I mean, they're always in like pretty big bottles. But this, I have a small one. I just get the small one of this because the big one, I mean, it's expensive. But the little one lasts a long time. Like, you don't need that much. But currently at home you guys know i've been using that redken acidic bonding concentrate it's not too bad but i you know i don't think i would repurchase that for the price um i brought my aquas hair towel i have a ton of these they are great because they get the majority of the water out of your hair really quickly uh, anyways guys i'm gonna unwind a little bit relax yeah i want to get a i want to get a good night's rest because of the youtube workshop tomorrow so i'm gonna round out this vlog but make sure you come back for tomorrow's vlog because i'll take you to the event uh, i don't know how much filming i'll get done there but i'll take you there and you know whatever else adventures that i get into so you want to make sure you come back for that but if you enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye